Yeah, in hindsight, a red flag, maybe not the best idea. No. Maybe white could have been a bit better idea. <laughs> so. Okay, there we see the Asians walking down to the field for a huge match coming up here, I'm going to say. Between. Campus Warfare. And Mario. Vavro. Right, but I'm going to just throw in. Vavro's picture. <laughs> <laughs> Taken possibly 10 years ago. <laughs> About 10 years ago. He looks 10 years yeah, older. This guy can shoot. Yeah, I mean, I, I mentioned it quickly earlier. Vavro's uh, 1 8 match was stunning to watch. Yeah. Uh, Samuel Duran from Great Britain took on Vavro in the 1 8 yeah. Sam shot an 8 in his first shot in the 14 10s, so a 148, and it wasn't enough to win the match. Vavro shot a 149. And then a 145. And then a 148. And then a 148. Uh, and a 700 in qualification, which is. Second for a 700. Strong, strong shooting. Vavro, there we, can, there we can see him in the tunnel. In the Christ jersey, really. Exceed Vavro's experience, he's won a lot of shit. Vavro has won practically everything that he's gone for this the year. Berlin Open as the a Berlin senior, Open. where he beat Dave Cousins, and then some yeah. guy I've never heard called Mike Schlosser in the final. Yeah, I don't know who that guy is. Indoors. <laughs> just, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think Mike was, was ever beaten indoors. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so then, then Hampus. Hampus, I know very well um, for shooting, and the guy can shoot. The guy's a shooter. Um, his match play, he beat uh, Nico Wiener, who was a hometown favourite, actually, from Austria. 144-142 okay. uh, in his 1-8s. Yeah. Then, real upset of the week, I'd say, took out Domingo Budin, who the world will know from the famous Budin legacy, yeah. if you like. Also, as I said earlier, our current world champion, Budin. And then he beat Jeremy Akambak, who we just see, 146-140. So yeah. both archers are coming off of a very strong week. Vavro's been made to work, by the way. Look at Vavro's been put through some match play here. Doesn't matter what's thrown at him, he's always gone extra. Then he's always gone a bit more. Uh, he's at a one one forty six. See, but I think that's the experience playing part again in his match play. The guy doesn't seem to get nervous, but <laughs> yeah, oh, it's a man of steel, Vavro. Hammers Borgs, like what you said earlier. The guys, a real good shooter, rocking the archery learning centre cap, I believe. <laughs> yeah, honorary member. Honorary member of George Riles' little elite academy. And in his school medal match. I believe it's Hornet Power. I think the, uh, for me, for me, this is about how Hampus shoots. Yeah, absolutely. He's got to bring game. Hampus has got to start out strong just to yeah. give Vavro a message, say like, "Yes, I'm here, and I'm yes. not going to let you walk all over me." Again, like like with all it, with, you know, third creation of the day out here. By the way, well done for such a small archery nation. Yeah, so yeah such a strong team. But the um, I mean, what they're in? How many medal matches today? The Croatians? Yeah, about three, four. Three or four. Yeah, I think. I think if Vavro gets away, it's done. If Vavro pulls away in the first couple of ends, it's match over. Because we've seen, based on his 1 8 match, that Vavro can shoot. Yeah. And there's his 10. So <laughs> I've never seen a man make sure in a 10 looks so easy as Vavro. Effortless. Whereas Hampers, you can see his technique, he's really got to work for his 10s. Really strong shot, and it's 10. Great start for both guys here. How many fights? Yeah, we know Vavro's shot a lot of finals. Hampus shot many finals, or I know he's shot. Yeah, Hampus has been in a few Charlie, over the years. European indoor was he champion or silver? I believe he was silver. Yeah. Like I said, both of these guys are incredibly competent shooters. Yeah. Both with very different techniques. Hampus, you can see, is really in control of his shot. A lot of power for his shot. Whereas Vavro comes to full draw and just lets it all happen. Very laid back kind of guy. Yeah. Both in shooting and in, and outside. Very effortless kind of guy. Long shot. It's long. Ooh, it's ten, ten, ten. <laughs> he wasn't sure about it. Never was that certain, broke low, that Certainly thing. relieved, I think, to say that the least. Hammers on his shot. Two tens at the start. Can he make it a third to keep, up, keep up with Vavro? He's got to keep up. Oh, he's no, just out to the left. Okay, so. I better say hello to Bryony Pittman. I imagine she'll be watching. I'm sure Bryony's <laughs> back at home. <laughs> watching Hampus watch, watching Hampus in his match. Cheering him on. There we hear the commentator on the field, Hank, talking through Hampus's path to get here. As we said earlier. 
Hampus' scores have been very strong this year. He won the big match on the route here, Hampus. Yeah, to take, it, to take out Dominic Webboon, yeah. that is that is an achievement. And I think that's going to give him a lot of confidence that he knows that he can shoot the scores. Yeah. Because he can. I mean, he's se he has seen himself do it. I mean, he shot a 697 in qualifying, which is not to be sniffed at. That's a very good score. And we just see how tight the scores were out there. I mean, Favreau shot a 700 and finished second, and Hamper shot a 97 and finished fifth. Like, there was three points between, like, three places. I mean, yeah. that's just a testament to the scores that these guys are shooting. I still, you know, I don't know how this match is going to go, but I think Favreau is Europe's number one contender. Well, no, Stefan Hansen's not here this week. I believe Stefan's... Um, Rested himself for Turkey. Well, he's got Turkey next week. Next week. <laughs> and then, of course, uh, is he going to the Worlds? He's definitely attending the Worlds, yeah. Then Mark would be foolish to not send him to the Worlds. <laughs> but no, like, the junior men's uh, discipline and the Worlds is going to be... Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Right. So, and that's big, a big shot there from Anders. Big shot. Vavro can he continue his streak? Looks pretty relaxed out there. No, that's Ooh. an eight. He's not happy he about looks, that. He looks surprised. He's not happy. So, Hampus has got no. to not get excited. He's Hampus has got to continue his shots. Yeah. Han Hampus has got to just make a shot routine and not think not about what just happened with Avro. It's a lot of shake. Oh, come on. A nice. a See, that is what I'm saying about... You need to keep your call in that situation. He heard the eight. He's probably like, what, an yeah. eight? Yeah. But, all square. Will Vavro come back strong from that? Another long hold. That was good. There's a 10. That was good. So. Hampus, I think he knows what he's got to do to make a bit of a stronger shot, to get the tensions correct, and then he knows he can shoot a 10. That looked better. That's nice. another high nice. nine. So, Vavro with a 10 here will get one point, which. Hampus looks really frustrated as he came from one there. He can't do four down. Well, that reaches a nine. Yeah, he's level. He's, he must it's tied, 57 Happy end for both arms, isn't it? Really, no. Yeah. But again, like with the ladies' gold medal match, this is, this is a pecking order match. Right? Yeah, this is certainly to say I am Europe's number, number one arch for the world. Yeah. Certainly, yeah. So. Yeah. literally out. and metaphorically, mate. Right? <laughs> Watch out for yeah. me. Yeah. Now, both of these guys are great shooters, but I think it is going to come down to who can hold their nerve, honestly. Yeah. Very interesting anchor point. It uh, is, isn't it? Yeah. That I've not really had a chance to see him from the, from the front. <laughs> yeah. Maybe he's in a bow throw there. I believe, that, I believe that was his eight. Really so yes. Flawless. Flawless on his, on his release hand. Yeah. Like I said, it's just that yeah. whole very calm demeanour. Whereas you can see with Hamburg. It's great, but he, he's always going to be fighting the clock. Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And if, yeah. If it gets windy, he needs to be able to speed up. Thank you very much. You know, Hampus is a bit like uh, we see the match earlier with Maria Skolna. Hampus really makes his shots happen. Yeah, yeah. Very, very powerful shooter, Hampus. Very strong. Very strong guy. Fantastic. Got to say, though, Vavro does get the award for the coolest hair <laughs> on, on any trip he goes on. Yeah. Right. Sort of matches the whole like laid back demeanor, doesn't it, quite well? Shooting first. It's looking pretty strong out there. It's looking good so far. He can just execute a shot well. The rain's picked back up. Nice. It's another nine. Not happy with that. The rain is picked back up. The rain is getting heavier out here. Just a solid wall of cloud up in the not sky. That it stopped, but <laughs> not a, not not a whole bit of break in the cloud at the moment. So I think this is going to be in for the day. Is he? Oh, the boat dipped a little bit on the shot there. There we go. No waterproofs, just shooting his normal kits. Yeah. You know, Hampus looks like not he's standing there really and he's... It's going to be cold. He's going to not... That'll be that's an X. You know, Hampus is there in his waterproofs, trying to keep himself dry and warm. Yeah, sensible. Mario looks like he's fairly content in the t-shirt and the base layer. <laughs> yeah. Hampus with another nine. You could, surprise you, could you, you could tell after Hampus' shot that he knew exactly where that was going. Oh, these guys know. Oh, yeah. 
You can just tell by their, by their expression afterwards. Good shot. Nine, it's getting frustrated. That being said, Vevro's getting very frustrated out there. Hampus could take a 10 here to tire and to draw the set level. Which I think he can do if he knows that he can, he's just got to do it. And he does, X. So, we are tired coming into that crucial full set that we keep talking about. Neither of them look as, they don't look as fluid as they, as they do normally. They both look a little bit grainy out there. But then again, gold medal match. No, it's not going to play a part in your, in your show. We see the scores in the match so far. 29-28-28 Hampus and 30-27-28 for Vavro. Vavro is going to be shooting first again next stand. Yeah, the original shoot in order. Not on for his best score of the week already, but <laughs> as we <laughs> said, <laughs> maybe we see the Luxembourg collective up in the crowd. <laughs> Not a huge team, but a very successful team so far. Mm. Yeah, the Germans. <laughs> <laughs> They're okay in the crowd. They've got a great big yeah. up over their heads. They're not getting much. They're fine. Back at, you know, up in the stands behind us, like we said, they've got a big roof over them, so yeah. they are going to be just fine up there. Yeah. It's a bit, it's a bit cold in the air, but if you can, keep, if you can keep the rain off you, that's that's half the battle. Alright. Okay. Let's see if these two guys can really turn it on. Full fan. I think Vavro knows that he needs to. Yeah. And that's a beautiful turn. Yeah. I think both of these guys know that someone's got to make a move very soon. Yeah, both of these guys know that someone's got to make a move. Yeah. Hammers with a better turn. I coming out on the lead in this. I end, see your I turn. I raise you an X. <laughs> I think coming out of this end in the in the lead is going to be a big. Factor. If you can lead off of this end, I think that's just got clean. it. I was not clean. You can see I was shaking his head off Sam the shot. Be sat up there thinking, Why not to <laughs> <laughs> I think anyone that has shot against Vavro is weak. Is that? Oh yeah, it's our left. Sitting that to the left. This is nervy, nervy stuff. This is a close match. I wasn't expecting it to be this close. Ooh, oh. Favreau <laughs> <laughs> steering that 10 back into blows. I think, that, I don't know about anyone else, but I find that a little bit of a... A bit of a psychological impact on me as an archer when I'm shooting against someone who can make a shot like that and still shoot it in. Yeah. Like, there's just no hope of them making a bad shot, really. Uh, Send from Ampus. So, we are still tied. Three shots to go. Both of these guys are on for one of their lower scores of the week, but if they can win, I don't really think they mind too much. Okay, so there we have 12 hours practice and the last three are what's going to decide it. <laughs> I'm, I'm really shocked to see these guys on 114. Yeah, I was expecting 116s, 117s. Are the girls on at this point? <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs> Way more. I believe Orlich was uh, shooting, I think she was on uh, like 15 at this point. Uh, she's the sh I think we're 145 is the best of them one, isn't it? I think so. Oh, yeah. I believe 45 so I score. And then it'd be James Hanks. Then yeah, James on a 40. No, Victor. Oh, Victor, of course, 47. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot forget about Victor. Victor. Victor's been the best shooter I've seen this morning, actually. Victor's been the best shooter this week, <laughs> I think it's safe to say. Yeah. Walking down the field, like the guy just is so confident in what he's doing. Yeah. He knows exactly where his shot's going, the second at least his bow. Yeah. And it's practically always the 10. Yeah, can't contend himself with the excitement up there. <laughs> Let me see one of the German archers not sitting with his crowd. Right, so, big first shot here for Favreau. Yeah, if Favreau can lead up with the 10, that is going to put it. He's got to control it. He's yeah. got to control it, because Pumpus gets a point. That's all it's going to need. Yeah, if Favreau can come out and shoot a 10, yeah. Hampus is going to be Hampus really like, thinking that he's shot for it. He's raring to go. That's a 10. Yeah. Hampus is really going to be thinking about his shot now, and you cannot slip into that overthinking, over aiming sort of mindset because it's going to punish you. He's got, to, he's got to keep his tensions. That looked good. Oh, it's a high nine. Oh, he he nodded his head. He knew it. Look good shot. You know, you can make a good shot as you want. If it's aimed in the nine, it's going in the nine. Yep. That's the only issue. Oh, oh, Vavro oh, looks surprised on his shot with shot on X. looks like Vavro again. Vavro's back to his form, and I think Hampus knows that. He's really got to start shooting 10s, otherwise he is out of this match. 
There's, there's Ace. He needed that. Vavro can seal the match out here with a 10. And that is game over if he can. Nothing Hammers knows oh. that. Oh. That's a nine. Hampus needs a ten for a shoot off, and the commentator said that. I don't know if he's going to do it. It's a nine, and Vavro is your gold medalist. Yeah, Hampus not happy. No, but you know he shot well. Both of us shot well. A really nervous We're nervous sitting back here watching it, let alone shooting it. <laughs> I want to see them do what they can do, you know. I want yeah. to see the big stuff. But, uh. That's always a tough moment after you just lost a match. Hampus uh, going for the photos there, uh, trying to force a smile. But they both shot well. Exciting, man. It was a very classic, close match. Very, very close match. Okay, scores are official. Your winner. That's our compound sections. Over, so compound done. Bring on the recurs. Very good shooting. Uh, there's a little short break now, and then. The recap archers.